Hello guys, Wahoo here, back with another video. This time around, as the title says, to bomb or not to bomb, that is the question, right? So, uh, this video is sort of just a short one, kind of calculating what you would make if you were to bomb your way through dungeons. But also based on how many dungeons I have done, and maybe you haven't done the same thing. And I do want to say that it is more efficient to bomb your way through dungeons before you go to the comments and say, ah, oh, it's bombing, it's the best way. It is the best way, but I just want to compare those two things to each other. So I've done some calculations and maybe you want to switch it up a little bit and actually kind of learn these layouts and maybe save yourself for some flux in the long run. I just wanted to make the I kind of just was playing around. I just wanted to do the whole thing with uh, how many it's actually going to be and how many you're actually going to make and stuff like that. Because I never bomb my way through dungeons. I just like to run them because my experience is that sometimes the bombs goes pretty crazy easy and then you sometimes actually miss out on loot because uh, you bombed the place where the chest is and it just falls to the void where it happens in the air walls but I just wanted to make the calculations kind of a fun little video but the most efficient way to go through the dungeon is just to get there as quickly as possible so bomb your way through do uh, is the best way to do it but i did want to make some calculations on all of that so so the first calculation is just going to be uh, what is bombs going to cost ourselves on the marketplace as well so we're going to go to the marketplace you can see i've already done some calculations right here if you search bombs this is where the bombs are going to be is what what bombs are going to cost you and well before that we should probably figure out how many dungeons i have done you can go to your batches over here go to gameplay batches go to the very uh, first one here that's the dungeon objectives so there's of course more bombs in more uh, dungeons like some and some you don't even bomb your way through maybe some five stars and stuff like that you can run to pretty easily and also i feel like your top side is pretty easy to go through and you don't really have to bomb your way through every single one of them and also i guess it's kind of a disclaimer in a way it does this is also based all this math is based on just have using one bomb per dungeon and some dungeons you are going to use more than uh, you know more uh, bombs on it but if you know i didn't know what the, <laughs> don't know what the numbers is how many you're going to use per dungeon and which dungeons i was going to do that would be a crazy number but we're just going to assume that you're going to use one bomb per dungeon and get your way through that one as well but you can see how many i've done right here you can also go to the bottom one doesn't really matter but you can see it right here i've done 170,000 dungeons uh, well 608 <laughs> but we're just going to go with the 70,000 dungeons i've done and some of them again is easy to, to get by and all that stuff but we're just going to assume that uh, you use one bond it on average i guess on uh, every single uh, dungeon as well so let's calculate uh, those numbers right here they are on the screen as you can see right here but 170,000 dungeons and they seem to be uh, going in sort of a 5,000 stack they could be more but i think this this number is going to be the same if you go up here of course it's going to be more expensive but it doesn't really matter too much it's still going to be around the same even though these are stacks of a thousand so i used just the first stacks here because it was just the first and i didn't well i could calculate all the stats all the stacks right know how much it would actually be but we're just going to go with this about uh 400 and 450,000 or 440,000 uh, 450,000 per stack because yes there's these stacks but then they go up a little bit in price and such so on average i would say 450 is so, you know just a round uh, number and we need 40 uh sorry not 40 34 stacks so we need to buy this 40 uh, 34 times of course uh, assuming also we get 5,000 every single time uh, of the 40,000 but we need 34 uh, 34 stacks uh, of these and that's of course 34 times 450 is going to be 15 million 15 million 300,000 for bombing my way through every single so I made 15 million more than I was supposed to. Of course, you can also, uh, this one also, I guess another disclaimer, you can go ahead and of course, you don't have to buy everything on the marketplace. You could also go out and mine all these things, farm all these things, that's what I mean. You can, you can of course, go all out and do that, but that's also time you spend doing that, where you could actually also make flux. So uh, doing dungeons, right? Uh, you could, let's say it takes you is it 50 hours to get all the materials to get through 170,000 dungeons, right? Those 50 hours, 
is not gonna you're not gonna get those back because you are gonna pump him into bombs which you're then gonna go through it and yes it would make you more efficient so in maybe in the long term it would get you through that but again that's also a lot more hours invested on top of all of these things so efficiency is of course the key number and the more efficient you are the more flux you are going to make that is always that and if you get through the dungeons faster with bombing you through the dungeons of course you are going to make more flux so in maybe in hindsight compared you know all that you are maybe going to make more of flux when you bomb through it but it's going to be over a lot more time and maybe you burn out on the game before that and then you never made it back so yeah maybe those 15 million would become in handy in some cases that is i'm just kind of not i'm not saying one method is better than the other i'm just saying hey maybe that's something you want to look into but of course there's not only just buying your uh, you know <laughs> your bombs on the marketplace you can of course go ahead as i just said <laughs> make your own bombs and uh, you can make uh, yourself 400 or you can make 4000 or 40000 and it's the same price for all of them as well so i'm just going to use the 40000 so we make 40000 as you can see right here and it's going to cost us 10000 per craft of course per craft it's going to be 10000 primal uh, flames Primal flames and then also uh, some pink ore, uh, purple ore, a uh, hundred thousand of that. So the calculations is going to be on the screen right there, and you can see one hundred and seventy thousand dungeons as we said, and then we get you know we per craft we do get uh, forty thousand out of that. So of course that four point twenty five. I am going to bump it up to five crafts because uh, you're not going to make, of course, not make a. Uh, quarter of a craft so we are going to go with the five crafts because then we do have enough uh if we could also go with the four craft but then of course we wouldn't have enough for all the dungeons and all i think it's a good way to take five crafts because again we're not going to use one bond on every single dungeon uh we are probably going to end up using more than just one bomb per uh, dungeon objective so we are going to be uh, in the, uh, if we go right here, uh, this is a mod, by the way, really nice mod. Uh, if you go to the description, I will also have a link to uh, uh, my mods. If you want to get that one here, it's on Torosaurus. Uh, but yeah, it, basically you just click it. It's really, really nice. Uh, you can just click right here and it's going to search for you if it's in there. But it's a very nice mod. A anyways, sidestep. The po point is that we got the promoter flames. And as you can see, they come in stacks of a almost... <laughs> one one off but ten thousand, so that's pretty easily how we're going to do that so that's just going to be five times about seven six hundred and seventy they do get up quite in price these ones here you can also see there's not really a lot of stacks on the marketplace we only need five stacks of these of course because it's going to be five crafts so we only need five stacks of these so it's about that uh, six hundred and seventy thousand per that and that's going to give us uh, 3.3 million on 50 uh 3.3 million it's gonna cost us for these five here stacks for these and of course it can go in price and can go down in price it goes up and down you know so it might you might get them for cheaper if you want to do that or you are going to uh, you know also another thing is that of course these hundred and seventy thousand dun dungeons i've done is also over like seven years so again <laughs> i guess that's something you have to calculate as well but we don't only need our, of course, our primal flames. We also, of course, need our pink ore. So we're just going to click that one, go back to the marketplace right here. And this one, we do need 50 stacks of because, uh, go back here, uh, there you can see we need 10 times as many crafts or uh, it's going to take what is it called 10 times 10 times more or then it's going to be with the polymer flame on the pot side of course ores is a lot easier to get by you can see here it's also 21 per uh, stack where the other one was uh, if you click it right here it's like se almost 70 per uh, stack of these or per individually right so we're going to go back to the ore here and it's about uh, i put 210,000 because it's about we also need you know, uh, about 50 stacks of these. Instead of just five stacks, we need 50 stacks of these. So that's pretty crazy. Probably not going to end up getting, uh, you know, that price all the way through. And also, we're not, you know, there's not a chance that you're going to get 10,000 per stack in, in, in 50 stacks as well. But again, it's only 250, uh, 210,000. That's what I mean. That's all so many numbers. But it isn't going to end us up getting... 10.5 million for uh, having enough for 
well, not 50 crafts, but the five crafts we uh, do need. So there is going to end up, as you saw the price down there, 13.8 million. We are going to pay for making all of these crafts. And yes, there's also the craft time in there, but the craft time is not that much. But uh, it's going to be around that. So actually, it's a little bit cheaper right now as I'm making this video to craft them yourself. Uh, but uh, it sometimes maybe just easier to buy the amount of bombs that you do need and then yeah it probably not a it's probably not a good idea to buy uh, bombs for 170,000 dungeons probably not a very very good idea but the last thing I do want to show you is just uh, some food to for thought you know just thinking about it is just a little bit of hey maybe I should not maybe I should just learn some of the layout for some of the dungeons save me a little bit flux right there because there is a last calculation as well because if you do go to your leaderboards and you go into stats you go down here to flux earned the flux earned I'm only 846 on the leaderboard for flux and you might be wondering uh, if i go into my inventory and then go right up here it says 1.1 million it's like what that what is what what's going on why is it not you know calculating how much you made who like twice as much almost right and there is a reason why that is because the flux earned is only from flux you have loot collected uh, it can also be from if you make I think you can also I don't know if it works like that But I'm pretty sure that this is what people have done up here if I'm to be honest I'm not sure how that works I think that might also be some some glitches over the years and stuff like that That's not really the point uh, But the point is that I have loot collected uh, this amount of flux and I think if you actually turn these into the containers and then you loot collect them again you know that actually you know works towards this but i don't know i think that's why people have but i i probably also loot collected some of these but i haven't done not done a lot of these tanks uh if i have it right here you can see i could turn them all into these mega flux tanks but it's going to cost me 75 glim and as there's really no need to do that in any case, you know, uh, I could make them to give away to some people and such. But the point is, it's fine where it is. So I don't want to because you're not going to get you are going to get, of course, all your flux back, but you're not going to get your glim back. So that's gone forever. And uh, it's it can make so many. Right. And that you can calculate that with the glim. And that's going to be a bunch of it. I don't even know if I can I can put them all into this one. It doesn't seem like the right number, but. I don't know maybe i you know i will run out of flux before i craft it all into tanks but the point is um i would have made again 15 million less of that because uh that's from loot collecting as well and this is of course uh, why i have uh, 100 million is of course from trading it's of course when i you know you get something it doesn't calculate in that if you sell something it doesn't calculate into that but i've almost made 60 million from just loot collecting items over seven years but the point is, I would only have made four, uh, sorry, 44 uh, million uh, if I hadn't, you know, if I have, you know, I would still have been at this number, but I would have made it, you know, only made out of 44 million out of those uh, things as well. I just wanted to show you guys, kind of, you can see how much you've loot collected. But of course, again, if you are more efficient with your time, you are, of course, going to make more flux because you're getting through the dungeons way quicker and you are going to get more items and therefore you are maybe going to get through that but as i said in the beginning i when you learn those layouts of those dungeons you are going to get through them pretty quickly and just jumping into the you know build mode and lasering a couple of uh, glass for example there's many dungeons that just have some glass where you can get to the boss it takes you like two seconds uh, I would say like it maybe only takes you one second to bomb it. So yeah, you save one second and sure over seven years saving one second every seven year dungeon. That's a lot of seconds if you time that. Of course, that's 170,000 seconds technically. But I've also seen people that have, you know, taken longer actually by bombing way through something. And there's some dungeons I just skipped because I don't I don't like the layout of them. And I, but I feel like uh, going through there is plenty of nice dungeons that are pretty quick to do, and you kind of learn which ones you want to do and which ones you don't want to do. So again, it was only some food for thoughts uh, I wanted to give you guys. Just kind of see, hey, I actually saved 15 million on uh, not bombing my way through that. But again, I just want to reiterate. <laughs> That's a very hard word. 
that bomb you away at being efficient is way better. But again, it uh, it could be that you could save your, if you just knew, again, if you just knew a couple of layouts, maybe you can save yourself a couple of million. So just wanted to tell you that, guys. Anyways, short kind of video. Uh, just had the idea, just had some fun calculating it. So I just wanted to share with you guys. Anyways, take care. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.